Welcome everyone to Total Carnage Listen Throughs. I'm Avin One Vinny FX, and we are beginning sort of a trek through the world of Bull of Heaven. Hope you'll join me for it. This could be quite a long haul. And I won't be progressing in totally linear fashion because I do imagine that as uh, new Bull of Heaven releases come out, I'll want to get to them. And may also just jump back and forth on different whims, but basically I like to start from the very beginning. Let's travel back to 2008, I think even the first day of that year, for Bold Heaven's first ever release, Weed Problem. Let's have a listen. There's the opening white noise. It's on now. The beginning of a legend. I can hear it creeping in. The sense of alert. All the different drones coalescing. I can hear the ominous clicks, too. I like the light, dragging, scraping feel of some of these drones. They're like lightly warbling. I sense like a sleeping deity. A malign one. Ooh, what was that like wash? Seems like also a scrape. A lot of creeping. Actually, I wonder if the popping noises are mainly in my headphones. But now something has receded. I'm getting closer to the, the drags and the scrapes. Sounds sort of mechanical in a way, like a humming of a machine, yet it blurs the line between machine and ancient being. You know, at this point, that dragging noise even sort of sounds a bit to me like the hum of a hive of alien insects. I'd imagine myself deep in some sort of lair where I don't know exactly where I am or how to get out, but it's very dark and I can barely make out in front of me just a ways away, enough that I'm not being attacked at least yet. A whole wall full of these creatures, these sort of giant alien insects, the sort of a twitching moving around, seeming to be looking at me. Not striking just yet, but seeming to spell doom. Which of course is wonderful, 
when granted the removal of uh, a music piece to give you that feeling instead of experiencing it firsthand per se. fascinating in that this would be generally thought of as a noise piece, but I feel like I can hear the notes of these drones, and the way that they are arranged and progress over time seems to have a sort of a patient neoclassical quality about it. In addition, I'm hearing the white noise bubble up again, or at least become more noticeable. That was opening up the track. Just plucking along, doomingly. And making it a point to breathe deep, especially in sync with the music. Now I feel like I'm getting my hair cut in a way. The way that the sort of buzzing drone kind of moves in my headphones. But that's really the joke interpretation of it. The more real interpretation of it is that I feel like I'm being glided over by a malign force and in a good way, like I'm being in integrated into a new world. It's fascinating because there's a clear pattern in each of these individual drones. Oh, here we go. That high-pitched, like, sustained beep. Oh, now it's changing. I can, I can barely hear something underneath that's starting to creep up, but not linearly. Like, it's slowly trending upward, and it's like a return of the opening pulsating drone. Now I'm hearing a, a, a few new sounds pop in here and there, and then disappear, possibly not to return. Yet they seem to foreshadow a certain change, as though there weren't enough other signs. And I'm hearing this washing coming in again. And the opening drone seems to be happening again, but faster.
I'm getting deeper in. It's getting more dire. We're approaching the entrance to a new threshold. disturbance in the drone there. It's clear enough that this seems to originate from a bass guitar, I believe, or maybe just a very low-tuned guitar. I actually think that's where a lot of these drones come from. They just don't sound that way. But I'm hearing a tapering off reverberating effect, and then like a fade in. But anyway, earlier I heard like a pluck of the bass, just very lightly. And even now, I feel like I'm hearing these almost subcutaneous noises, some light clanking. Some tapping, it's almost like an alarm. luck again. Maybe this is a reused loop. When I first heard this drone, it seemed like it was more hidden behind effects and manipulated in a certain way at the beginning so as not to give away the fact that it's bass. Or maybe that wasn't bass and this is just sounding very similar. But it seems like over time the mask comes off of the layer. Is that a rubber ducky? Very low in the background. Something strange. It's like some light squeaking noise. I'm hearing like a, a swinging drone underneath. Almost like a big electric fan spinning ominously around. And it crashed a ship. And as it's more isolated and more noticeable, I realized it was there for a good long while. sense from the sound form that we may be approaching a new threshold and to that point maybe I should maybe I should not look at the waveforms I don't want to spoil anything for myself let's just hone in on this 
artwork here. fading out for something new to come in. I can already hear the beginning of white noise. And again, Bull of Heaven are masters of subcutaneous sound. Something you can hear very faintly underneath. I've got the rumbling. Yes, we've passed the threshold. We're in a new zone. Something more arcanely insidious. Less obviously so. Something we feel more in our bones than that we would commonly interpret. Like in the first phase. That another eerie mechanical noise rising, getting more intense. I hear almost like these breaking noises happening in the background, almost like very far below, but of something very large that threatens to swallow. Venturing to something forbidden. I'm hearing more noises, subcutaneous ones, but they seem like they're happening in the cavernous area, something rising, a kind of warping noise. I don't know how to explain it, but you might be able to hear it through my headphones. again, but it's preceded by kind of a, a slapping noise, like something had dropped on its surface. I feel like I'm hearing something from behind a barrier, but I don't, I don't know the nature of it, I can't seem to get at it. like they're working on something, they're launching something back there. And its sound is of such a character that I imagine it is of a unique color set against what sounds like a very dingy gray landscape. At least to us, the perceiver, being in the dark. Not knowing the color of this place that might reveal to us, we're illuminated. It's interesting, it's like we're definitely getting deeper, and yet, the closer we get to the mystery, the more it's blocked off to us. And although, usually, after the rising sound, there's nothing, at least immediately, there sometimes seems to be like an ending crashing noise that has almost a melodic quality. It 
It is ever elusive, and in the meantime we're still mired in the muck that we were at the beginning of the second phase. mechanical noise, almost like an alarm, is getting louder and closer. It seems to be one of the main things linking this phase to the second one, excuse me, to the first one. Hearing those sounds behind the barrier a bit louder and more clearly, including the melodic punctuations, which seem to be getting more frequent. It seems like we're getting deeper. Even the initial dingy noises are slowly receding, it seems, or at least being overpowered by the newer ones. We must be getting deeper. And suddenly, some of the breaking noises that we first heard towards the beginning, as they returned, seem to bear some sort of connection and quality in nature to what I'm hearing behind the barrier. At least I think it's behind a barrier. It's certainly distant, something I'd like to get closer to. Suddenly the alarm sounds have overtaken it in a hurry. And they're accompanied by something else similar. We shouldn't be here, and yet we must venture further. The initial muck is back. Perhaps we've mainly come full circle. Or perhaps we've ventured deeper only to find ourselves in much the same sort of seeming dead end we started in. These sounds here, they seem to linger and stutter, and then hit these sudden breaks. Sputter away to nothing, like dying motors. Only to be replaced.
at times they seem to warble a bit, taking almost a melodic, melodic quality on before, going back to as they were. It's as though over time we, we find the connection between what seemed what seemed close and what seemed far. So they were variations on the same thing. Perhaps one of them being derived from the other via manipulation, or perhaps both of them being derived from something else we haven't heard that was used to create this. It's fading out now. So we are perhaps reaching the final threshold. Maybe the fading out is a sign that we've made it past some sort of barrier, although not to the area we might have wanted to go to. At least not to one that we know we want to go to. Am I insane or am I hearing something underneath? Very far deep. Oh, it's actually background noise from the bar across the street. That's what it is. Still, it wouldn't be out of character for both having to put something like that underneath. So, what is our next destination here? That's a beautiful font, by the way. The text here never gets old to look at. There's silence for now. white noise again. Now this is something like plucking with reverberating, dragging noises at the same time, like a synthesis of different modes we've experienced before. Yeah, as it gets louder, the plucking aspect of it, namely as a bass guitar, becomes more apparent. Things are slowly building up. <clears throat> it feels this time as though we're sort of ascending, yet also marching off to a certain grim sentence. The notes have a 
distorted aspect to them, like they're covered in sand. And it's dust. And some of these plugs seem to be louder and more reverberating. The melodic note being more pronounced. We're marching inexorably onto something. In the meantime, these warbles have started creeping in. Suddenly and slowly, sliding a bit up in pitch before going back down. To emphasize the unease, it seems. Now it's like there's this transistor static. Something like that. Slowly coming up over it, like some sort of jet engine. Feels like we're hearing something through a portal now. Or through some sort of transmission. It's almost like a, a plane flying. But grimly so. In the dead of night or dusk. and distorting as it's too close. The sense of marching that came from the plucking is very much obscured now. It's all turned to this twisted, scraggling sound. static and spiking underneath. Like, not just that there's a transmission, but that it's about to get cut off. Suddenly I'm hearing this pulsating on top, and it seems to call into question the intended melodic quality of any one of these drones, given that these sudden introductions seem to clash melodically, so the whole thing were meant to convey some sort of noise point. And yet, at different points, one of these intercontradictory layers seems to seems to overpower the other, it seems to be louder, more prominent. And again, we get brief rises and falls. Spilling a different sort of doom. of the opening drone from the very beginning of this track, at least past the white noise that started it out. 
but now it's longer, more sustained. And again, it seems like the lines blur between traits of this one and traits of others that I've heard since. It has that, like, electric razor aspect to it again. But now it's back to how it initially was. While this arcane machinery drones on in the background. Like some brutal, ever forward moving industry. <clears throat> Could it be that we are in nearing the end of our weed problem, as it were? This one I've heard yet. We reached the recapitulation. Our journey has brought us right back to the beginning, in a way. Yeah, we're hearing elements of the last two thresholds as well as this one together. One last hurrah of the lesson that we've come to learn. Something new, harmonizing with all the old. We're going through the gauntlet of cacophony. frequencies, all the feelings, all the pitches. And yet something new on top of it. Once again, something that has to be specifically listened for to be found. Like what almost sounded like a hiccup that was looped. Very vocal one, deep, almost sung. Everything has reached fever pitched and died down with the last scraggles. Airing out the epilogue. And as everything tapers off, we get some farewell scratches. The 
warbling goes up and down now too, at a faster rate than before, yet slowing back down again. It's like an entire kitchen sink, but for drones. From it all, one solid long droning note. Sounding again like a plane. Haunting the way it briefly, slowly rises and falls. It's like we're making it through all the fumes as everything clears up. The old reminders keep coming back. Back where we started now. With a few oscillating sounds coming in and out from what came before to assure us that indeed we've sort of come full circle in a way. Another reminder of that that screech. So to say that it's not over just because it appears to be. If we aren't here again, we'll be in places like it. Mysterious one off noises. Sounds like a harsh, quick scrape in the background. We made it. We made it through Weed Problem, the first ever Bowl of Heaven release. Thank you for joining me on the journey. Next up, at least in our linear journey, chronologically, as much as is possible, there will be the release called He Is Not Dead, But Sleepeth. Until then, thanks.
See you all next time.